So Cheryl, can you tell me about how many people every year here in California are diagnosed with Alzheimer's? Well, we, I mean, we don't really know. We know that the Alzheimer's Association says that about 500,000 people are diagnosed every year, one person every 66 seconds. So we extrapolated to um, California, which usually has about 10% of everything. So we figured maybe 50,000 people diagnosed with symptoms like Alzheimer's every year. So how many people are having their driving privileges either suspended or revoked every year in California as a result of impairments like Alzheimer's? Well, when we asked the DMV, they sent us um, their statistics for uh, the, what the law um, has required them to do. The law in Cal California is one of six states in the nation that requires doctors to report uh, lapse of consciousness-like symptoms uh, in any of their patients. Uh, and two of the categories of lapse of consciousness are dementia and Alzheimer's disease. But we found that uh, the DMV has taken an action against the licenses of only between 4,400 and 6,400 people a year for the last 10 years in the state of California. So there's a big gap between, say, around 50,000, give or take, and 5,000 or 6,000. So we asked some doctors, what happens when you have a patient who is older? Do you scrutinize them to um, their ability to drive a motor vehicle? And most of the doctors that we talked to said no, they avoid it. And they avoid it for a number of reasons. One reason is that they don't like paperwork. They don't want to have to report to the DMV uh, that a, uh, a patient is, um, has cognitive deficit. Uh, number two, they don't want to get into arguments with a patient and family because the one thing that is so sacrosanct in an older person's life is their independence, their ability to go to the store by themselves, go to church by themselves. This also becomes a burden on family members as well because they have to drive them places. So it, it's, there is resistance on the part of the medical community. We've talked to doctors who told us this, that mm, they don't want to get into all of this medical legal um, uh, uh, realm. So with this gap and this resistance, what can be done? Well, I think just a greater awareness uh, from everyone involved that um, we have something like a silver tsunami, a lot more older people turning age 65, age 75, age 85. We have a lot of people driving who are over age 90. And we have to ask ourselves, well, you know, we know that um, putting limits on their driver's licenses uh, may ha come with some consequences. They may not be able to live in the same places, but is that we should weigh that against the um, real concern that we have for not just the uh, patients themselves, the drivers themselves, but other people on the road. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vinny.